Hi everyone, Princess Bear here and today we're at the Diamond Horseshoe. I want to say Golden Horseshoe, but that's a Disneyland. Diamond, because some reason Disney World is more diamondy than Golden Horseshoe Disneyland. I don't agree. I don't know where she's going with this. But you wouldn't because you're not from California. No, you're right. I'm not from California. So today we're here at Diamond Horseshoe in Magic Kingdom to try out the vegan uh, dishes they have here. So it's time for another vegan versus non-vegan food review. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. So, I get a salad, comes with house ranch that they make themselves. Mm. Crisp, not too heavily dressed. You know I hate my salad drenched in dressing, so this is good. Three and a half out of five plus. So the dressing they have here is a ranch. It doesn't have buttermilk, but it does have sour cream in it. So instead you get oil and vinegar. I probably just put a little bit too much vinegar in that guy, but... I don't like salad dressing, it works. I'd probably put a little bit less oil and like a little bit of pepper in it, and it'd be good. The way it is, two and a half out of five plus. Then we got some jalapeno corn, cheddar cornbread. Cornbread, but give me a little bit while longer, I might change that mind. For now, it's three out of five plus. So, Tyler, my awesome waiter, jaunted over to Liberty and got me some vegan rolls with dairy free butter. a full cookie tray of these, I would eat them. They're good. Oh. Dip it. It's soft and buttery enough. I want to lay out a pallet of it and just fall asleep on them. It's my new bed. Four to five paws. That's good. I would eat those. So we have a plethora of vegan options. We have stuffed peppers, we have mushrooms, we have baked beans, there's no bacon in that, and a vegan mashed potato. Knowing myself, I'm probably gonna like the potatoes and the beans and nothing else, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try all of it. I'm sure you guys know by now how much I hate mushrooms, but I'm doing it for you, so. Wow. That 
I think this has now become my number two favorite restaurant at Magic Kingdom. Number one is still Liberty Tree, but this is a easy second. That stuffed mushroom is incredible. Don't like it? It's not. It's just not great. 
You have sausage links, very lanky. It tastes like Lynx, but there's no princess. Not top of my list. Two out of five claws. Yes, that was a Zelda reference. I'm a nerd. Don't judge me. Or judge me anyway, and I just won't care. So here we have the beef, which is basically falling apart, which is a good sign. Not dry. Of a chew, it sort of needs a sauce. Like, if you're gonna do barbecue, there should probably be like a sauce on the table for you to sauce this stuff to your delight. And basically, by itself, it's moist at first, but after you've been chewing it for a couple of seconds, it starts to get kind of dry. It doesn't take away from the flavor though, so three out of five balls. The chicken. It's chicken. It's your favorite, you saved it from last. That's big enough black. Looks cooked, nice color to it. Mmm. I don't understand it, because this one is grilled, peppered, tasty. My favorite meat on this plate is definitely the chicken, by far. I don't understand it. it doesn't make any sense. Like, if you cook the chicken this well, why is the beef and the pulled pork lacking? It's odd. I can give that four out of five claws on the chicken. The whole plate? Some of his parts, I'll give it an average three, but I feel like for barbecue, you could definitely do better here at Disney World. I would definitely say, we'll just launch the um, Whispering Canyon Cafe's All You Care to Enjoy Skillets, much better. With very good drinks. It's a little loud though. But overall, yes, three out of five claws in the whole plate. So, anytime we go to a buffet style restaurant, or one that serves like a prefix meal. We always get surprised because we're never prepared. We gorge ourselves in the entree. We're ready to go. And here they are, well, wait. I'm bringing back dessert. Every single time they got up to this. So today, we have a chocolate s'mores cake. I don't like dessert. The princess is the absolute sweetest thing I can handle. Anything beyond that, hmm. It tastes like a gigantic Miss Debbie cake. Like the ones with like the squiggly white on top with the cream filling. Okay. That's exactly what it tastes like. It's not bad. It's dessert-y. I don't understand how they expect one person to finish this huge thing. I think it was meant to be family style. This is huge. There's no in the world I'm going to finish this. It's way too rich for me. But, based on what it is, three and a half out of five plus. Again, you get a giant scoop of sorbet. Now this sorbet is pretty similar to the other sorbets that we have had here at Magic Kingdom. So, it's raspberry. It reminds me exactly of the sorbet at Cinderella's Royal Table. I am way too full to eat this, so I'm definitely not going to. But if you want a sorbet with seeds in it, raspberry sorbet, it's got you covered. Don't get me wrong, I love sorbet. Like the princess, I'm also extremely full. It's good, it's fresh. It's just like every other sorbet we've had at Magic Kingdom. It's not a bad thing. Because like the princess said, it's in our Cinderella's Royal Table. Be our guest. I think basically every place we've been that's offered us dessert has been some sort of raspberry-ish sort of thing. So, not a huge surprise, but still good. Three and a half out of five plus. Hello again, Princess the Bear. We just got out of the Diamond Horseshoe, as you can see. 
not golden, diamond. Diamond horseshoe. And Tyler was the best waiter we have had at Magic Kingdom. Mad snaps to Tyler. We're still keeping track of all these waiters. We're getting a lot of good waiters here. Yeah, Wait. which I'm not... Surprised? I'm not upset about. Not upset. But Diamond Horseshoe food was decent. It was decent. It's, I don't know if it's the best place to eat the Magic Kingdom yet. I would say it's number two. My favorite is Liberty Tree. Yeah. And I would say Diamond Horseshoe is good because they pull from Liberty Tree. My stuffed peppers were impossible me and it was incredible. My rolls were from Liberty. My vegan butter was from Liberty and it was all amazing. It was very good. But definitely something that I would come here for. Again. Super full. I'd come again. The, the atmosphere in this place is a bit odd. Like it feels like there should, should be more yeah. going on around you. Like, it's definitely missing its identity. The upstairs has like, there's nobody up there anymore. And the, cast member the self playing piano, which is fine. I mean, it's it, weird. It's kind of plays in the background. You kind of forget it's there. Yeah. Um, It looks pretty. It's very nice inside. It just feels missing something. It's like a lesser version of Hoopty. Yeah, it feels like Hoopty with just a more fancy interior. The food, um, the food is slightly better than Hoopty, I'd say. I would agree, although the veggies that I had at Hoopty, which we will put a link in the description box down below, is the best veggies that I have had on Disney property yet. So I can't say that Hoopty isn't better, but I can say that the Impossible Stuffed Peppers were incredible. She's never gonna stop talking about these veggies. Until next time, be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.